prepared to play without Chapit in this game. So they have found a way, or they tried to find a way to still play their best basketball. But they are the defending champs. Take a look at this move here by Jared Tang. Nice, up and under. Oh my goodness, Jared, this is my teammate. Rich the court. Think about this kid, but he can score, grab rebound for you. The opening, take yeah. that shot, that's yeah. what you're saying. Thank you. Long two hits, he's in the groove. See right there, you can sign him on. Kind of backs off him a little bit. It's sort of the, the common, he's there in all seriousness. We young again, huh, Ali? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all it is. It's ridiculous. <laughs> well, Larry Muya, the young is. individual is very glad that East Kid is going to lose it. Looking up, the Gregorio. Dang. Finally found the opening. Yeah. More manageable. 10 points. Watch it here once again. Dang. Spinning. Finding some space. And just lays it up over the outstretched arms of Mac Bello. So for now, here's Tank. One to none is the lead for Blackwater. Tank makes the first field goal. By Phoenix, but then all of a sudden, things really start to go their way. Now they're going their, their way even more in this third quarter. Long two works for Tank. When players get traded, sometimes that's where they get really played or really at their best because they know that it's either they work harder in their game is leading the charge of Alaska. Shot clock. He's at six. Dang looked at it. Puts it up and it drops to Muya. Yeah, first of all, that was a nice uh, baseline screen where it... his, uh, his flick is calibrated <laughs> toward <laughs> the, the long range. <laughs> oh, look at that! A banker of a three! And it gives Alaska a bit more breathing room. Cherot takes straight away the bank, picking his spots and understanding when he is supposed to set his teammates up. Good ball movement for Alaska, and it's also a jumper from Deng. Look, the averages are probably a little bit higher, 14, 15 points per game, 16 per game, but everyone was sort of around 12, 11, 11. You know, and, and that's the type of, Dre, Alaska and TNT have had tough matchups. You go to some of the, the playoffs and championship series. It's a nice move. Under four minutes to play here. That stops the run of the Aces somewhat. Dang inside, basket and one. Even if there's contact, right, right at the top, there is some type of contact there coming from Cliff Hodge. Still buries his uh, little six footer. Good lead for Alaska. Lots of basketball to be played here. Adamus coming out to set the screen for Teng. This is all around, but let's take a look at this nice pick by Adamus. And you see Stan Hardy. Yeah, he finds Brutial. Brutial fakes it. Back to Teng. Teng against Williams. Jerry Teng short jumper. That is good for Jerry Teng. Brutial handling it against Alaska. Teng now. Teng has a couple of points here in the fourth. Teng makes that short jumper. Final four minutes here. Teng steps into this one and hits. Loose ball goes to uh, Alaska. Kasho. Teng, Teng, short snap jumper. That is good for Gerard Teng. Gerard first game versus Phoenix, excuse me. Early seven to nothing blast here. Losing his footing to Gregorio. Alaska now on the board, courtesy of Teng. Swap results of Yusef Taha has not yet come in, and so he's not allowed to play yet. Here's Teng all the way inside. On the other side, Yusef Taha's got to do a better chance, do a better job of defending that. Teng with the rebound and the putback. Di Gregorio kicks it out. No look pass. Dang with the left hand, that'll drop. Beautiful. Asking for the call, not given. Good defense by Maverick Ahanmisi, sprinting down and making that stop. 
Arwin's gonna come up short. Another rebound there by Brondial. It's five rebounds for Rodney Brondial. Ten gets away for two. It was very close, Ali. Active hands? No. Tang with a jumper. He's got four points. Shot clock's winding down. Do they realize it? Tang will attack once again. Tries to go off the glass and hit it.